Hello and welcome to NSC Study Break. I'm your host, Lisette, and today we're interviewing Jenny Avila from Western Oregon University. Jenny, how are you? Hi, Lisette. I'm well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. All right. So, Jenny, you are currently a junior at WU, right? Yes. Yes. And what are you studying? I'm studying education for a middle high school with a concentration in language arts and a minor in ESOL. Ooh, that's exciting. Would you like that? It's long to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We like it. I love an educated woman, you know, going in to teach the future generation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so, we're interviewing and asking you a few questions about your exchange to Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. So, to start, where was your host campus? It's like, which Puerto Rico campus did you study at? Um, I studied at Universidad de Puerto Rico um, in the campus of Rio Piedras, which is located in San Juan. Mm. And what did you think about that campus? It's such a beautiful campus. Like, it's so beautiful. It's really hot, super humid. <laughs> so it, it's it's very different from what I'm used to. Mm. Um, my university here, um, Western Oregon, is like 5,000 students. And it's a pretty small campus, like, compared to what was over there. Like, I think, like, the student population was, like, around 10,000. <laughs> Which is big for me. I know that seems pretty <laughs> small to you. But um, yeah, so it was just very different and it's very beautiful. And um, there's a few things I didn't like about it, but I don't know if that'll be a question later. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, what classes did you end up like taking down there? I took two literature classes and one like social science class while also taking like a Spanish class. So one class was like Problemas Sociales in Puerto Rico, which is like societal issues going on in Puerto Rico, which was interesting. And I took two literature classes, um, both in Spanish. And my Spanish class was for exchange students. In the first. It was basically a class made up for exchange students in Puerto Rico for Spanish. Okay, that's great. And what did you think about like the teachers and the education there? I, I, I had some interesting experiences in that sense. I feel like personally, I just really struggled with like the class that I was taking. Um, like the way that teachers lecture there was so different. And it was just very hard for me to concentrate, like let alone Spanish, like I'm not used to being in school in Spanish, even though I'm bilingual, I understand Spanish. But I like really struggled concentrating like in a lecture setting in Spanish, because it's like I I grew up in a bilingual household, mm. but I don't, I'm not really familiar with like educational Spanish, if that makes yeah. sense, like terms that are more, I guess, right? Like, I guess I know more, sl- I don't know. I just know more slang stuff in Spanish. So it was just very yeah. hard for me to concentrate. And like, I, I remember this occurred a lot in my, my like social science class, my, um, like the like issues going on in Puerto Rico that there was ter- like there was words that were used that I didn't even know in Spanish. I mean in English. Oh, wow. So so I struggled some I struggled a lot in that sense. But I mean like it was fine. I got through it. I ended up passing all my classes and the people, like the students were so kind. Like they like you, you don't get that experience in the States. Like people like there like will talk to you and they will be like, Well if you need anything a la orden like for them like a la orden means like at your service kind of like will help like if you need anything I'm there for you like all the time I have that constant reminder from students and they just were like the students there like within each other just created like a big community oh how sweet I'm glad you got that experience and you had that help in the the native students my next question would be what was your favorite part of your exchange my favorite part of the exchange is definitely the people I met, obviously. <laughs> um, so, like, I made a lot of friends on exchange who live in different parts of the world, like Lisette being one of them. I feel like that's a very unique experience that I got to do. Like, I got so close with so many people in such a short amount of time. And, like, also just that form of independence, like, being the only person. <laughs> I Proximity-wise, like, there is no one within like what a thousand miles from my family close to me (laughs) so it was just like I just I was just very proud of myself for being able to do that 
because no one in my family has said anything like that. Like, I'm, I've, like, no one, like, I have an older sibling, and I've been the far, like, I've been home away the longest, like, ever. So, yeah, so it was just very unique, and then also just Puerto Rico, let alone, like, I got to live on an island for four and a half months. <laughs> That's super unique, and I don't know if I'm ever going to experience that again. The people there, the culture, they're so lovely. They're so kind. And I, I literally fell in love with their culture. I fell in love with Puerto Ricans. <laughs> I fell in love with all of it, and I already miss it so much. Oh. So you've, uh, you've talked quite a bit about, like, the people there. Can you tell me some of the things you did on the island? Like, were you able to experience more just outside of the San Juan area? Yeah, so we, like, I think... Puerto Rico is a pretty small island, so I think, like, you can literally go around the whole island for, and it's only four hours, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was something like that, um, so, like, I know a, a group of my friends and I, um, over the weekend, uh, over a few weekends, we, like, rented a car, and we, like, stayed on, like, the opposite side of the island, like, on the, on the west side, and on the west side is where Mayaguas is at, Cabo Rojo, like, just, all these beautiful, beautiful beaches and like the coast there. Like mm -hmm. the beach there in general is really beautiful no matter where you're at, but on the west side, they're known for having more of the like, more, the more like ser serene um, beaches. Yeah. And um, yeah, we like, I felt like I literally went over the place. Like we went, <laughs> we went I went skydiving. <laughs> um, yeah. Exciting. So, yeah, I went skydiving. I did zip lining. Like I, I was able to do a lot, um, but obviously I mainly stayed in the San Juan area because it was just closer. That's great, though. I'm glad you had those, like, so many good experiences while you're down there and got to explore more of the island outside of San Juan. Yeah. Okay. Um, my next question would be, what were some of your favorite campus traditions or famous, Puerto or, sorry, favorite Puerto Rico traditions that you experienced while you're down there? I think, I don't know if this would be considered tradition, but I just love how affectionate they are and like loving with one another. That's something that you don't experience in like the US. Like people mm -hmm. don't, aren't very affectionate like physically, like it's really rare. And I think it obviously it's cultural. It can just be different based on everyone's home or how they were, how they grew up. But people there would always greet each other with a kiss on the cheek. I mean, if you were like friendly with them and you knew them in any sense, not like you wouldn't do that to strangers, obviously. <laughs> um, and I think that's like, I, I always thought that was so, that was so special and so cute Aww. because it's just showing like that you, that you love them and that you care for them. And not that you don't get that like in the States, but I have like, I have a lot of people close to me, like in my like close friends and my like, close family who like, I won't even hug because they're very, weird about it like they can't handle hugs yeah yeah so that's one thing I really miss about them um about Puerto Ricans is how like affectionate they are with one another and I think that was so cute oh that's great yeah no, the U.S. is very much not a touchy place at all mm -hmm. <laughs> or like don't touch yeah. me personal space all the time yeah for real <laughs> um okay so my next question um, what was a challenge you had to overcome on the exchange and what did you learn about yourself by overcoming it? I guess in the like my first month and a half or so I really struggled just feeling connected to Puerto Rico like I was kind of more homesick like if someone was like here's a flight to go back home to Oregon like will you go back like and miss these the next few months I probably would have been like yeah take me home <laughs> yeah because I and it was it was, I don't know, I just struggled in the beginning, like adjusting in the sense of I hadn't formed community yet. And I'm a really, like, I'm an extroverted person. I love people. I love being around people. Um, so I didn't have that in the beginning, but like, I don't know. I don't remember when things changed or I, I can't pinpoint that specific moment, but once I got closer to people, once I made more friendships, once I made more connections, like that totally changed things for me. So I think like it was more so like I'm, I'm not really good at initiating stuff like I'm never like hey I'm pretty bad about being like hey let's go do this with people but if people invite me and do stuff I'm like yes I'm down so <laughs> I think that was one of more things I just really had to be really intentional about making connections with people and like miss it like it's not hard for me to talk to people but 
it's hard for me to kind of necessarily reach out when I'm feeling lonely. So I feel like that was something that I really learned from that, that it's okay to, I guess, I get in the sense it's okay to be lonely and want to change that and like seek for help and then get distracted by making new friends and stuff. I feel like that made no sense, but <laughs> that's my response. So yeah, after I made those friendships and connections with people, I literally didn't want to leave and I wasn't homesick anymore. Uh, were you able to make friends with other people that did the exchange and um, any of the, like the Puerto Rico students? Yeah, so I definitely made in the dorms that I stayed at in, in the university I attended, um, all the exchange students lived in the same building. So, and since that school is a little bigger, like, I guess, I don't know, but there was 50 exchange students, which is quite a bit for students going on exchange. So all of those people came from like all over the world. A lot of them happened to be American. Some were from Europe, some were from like, I don't know, where else? Like Mexico, I made a friend from Mexico. So um, we were all in the same building, which was nice because you couldn't have visitors enter the buildings at all. So we were able to like form community within like our halls and visit each other from there. And I, what was your question again? <laughs> <laughs> it was just were you able to make friends with people on exchange and any of the Puerto Rico students? Yeah, and then and like I made I made a few local friends like who through this mentor mentorship program we had um, for the exchange students in Puerto Rico, and then I made a few people from class. Um, who were very friendly and super kind. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm glad you had that good experience, even though you were a little homesick, you know, you got to meet all those people. Yeah. All right, my final question would be, why would you recommend NSE to other people? And what advice would you give to students that want to do an exchange? I always, I tell people all the time to do NSE because I loved it so much, but like I would, I would encourage students, I would like for me to encourage students, it's a way if you've always wanted to go exchange, if you ever had that desire to like study abroad, or if you like, like wanted to go to school out of state, like this is your moment to fulfill that. Like you're able to experience a whole different environment, go to a whole new place and it's a more affordable. And especially, I think it's also very special that like students who happen to maybe be undocumented or are like more or are low income and stuff it's like a good way for them to be able to do that and then like students who are undocumented or DACA they are able to fulfill that study abroad without leaving the country but doing it within the states which is very cool and I feel like that's very special that a lot of people sometimes don't think about when they like do NSC versus like study abroad and then advice for students who would be doing it I would say that like just l take advantage of every opportunity that you have because those months or those weeks or whatever maybe goes by so fast and it's seriously something that you're going to look back on for the rest of your life because it's such a unique opportunity to do. Mm -hmm. No, like at least I know, like I'm from Oregon. I know who said you're from Minnesota. Like we're from, <laughs> we live in states in the U.S. Like I don't know if we will ever have the opportunity to live on, on an island again. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's just like you can totally experience a new culture and even then too like the U.S. is very like regionally it's so unique and different and like I know like west coast to east coast totally different the south to the midwest like everything is so different like anywhere you go and even though it's like within the states there's cultural differences and there's things that you might not see if you like just stay in your area that you're used to like I I attended university only an hour away from home, which is nice because I'm close to home, but I haven't, be, before NSC, I hadn't really seen anything else. Mm -hmm. Awesome, great advice. Great reason to recommend. So you guys heard it here from Jenny, from Wu, today that you should do NSC. It's a great experience. It's a good time. You'll look back at it forever. So I just want to thank you, Jenny, so much for interviewing both of us today. And thank you to all mm -hmm. those that are watching. I will see you guys for next week's interview.